First one up. If Kylian Mbappe moves to Saudi, which is looking very likely, of course, he will not end up at Real Madrid a year later, as is widely expected, because it will be so hard to walk away from that deal. Overreaction or not? That's a complete overreaction. The deal will exist. The deal will be over. He won't be walking away from a deal. He'll be... Yeah, but they surely offer him another one. No, no. I think, I think the whole point... No, the whole point of this is we can, we can ensure smooth sailing into your Real Madrid destiny. That's the point. Really? That's, yeah, that's the whole point of you this. You don't think they'd want him to stay in the Saudi league I, to keep I, the eyeballs on the league? I actually, sure I actually do. don't. And, and also, I don't think... I think they may have him back one day. But I think the Kylian Mbappe story needs Real Madrid. And Real Madrid need Kylian Mbappe as well. Like, I think Kylian Mbappe, you know, the legacy... Do you legacy think he'll be that sound. tempted, though, by that money? No, it's I don't. It's ridiculous, though, Rory. No, I don't think so. 700 million a year. He, it's outrageous. It's outrageous, but... Imagine that for three years. Yes. I think he'll probably play in Saudi again. But it won't be now. He needs... De- his destiny is Real Madrid. Do you know what's crazy, though, is that he could stay for three years and he'd still only be, what, 28? But by moving? that point, three, you I don't think you can do three years in a in a less competitive league. Yeah. What, I you think won't you can, be, he won't be the same player, you're saying? Yeah, I think so. And also, mm-hmm. football will move on. You know, Real Madrid will sign someone else. They can. I think Real Madrid can get away with it for a year. Mm. They'll wait. Yeah, but they can't enough. wait for longer than a year. Fair enough. Uh, next one up. Saudi sides will end up competing in the Champions League within three years... If the spending continues as it is. Yeah, this is an interesting one. I don't think this is an overreaction at all. No. And do you know why as well? Cause it's because this has been so rapid, mm. hasn't it? Also, money money talks. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, they, they, can, they carry an awful lot of prestige and friends in high places, and they will be able to make it work. Mm-hmm. And... You know the the obvious the obvious reason why a Saudi club couldn't play in the Champions League would be because it's the European Cup and Saudi Arabia is not in Europe. You would think that that would preclude them. You would yeah. think, but they will just point at Israeli teams who do. Yeah. You know, Isra- they'll Israel burn the rules. They burn the rules. Yeah, surely. they. I, th- I I think it happens. I, I do. I think Al Hilal will be in a Champions League very soon. Yeah. Um, just quickly, it's the Talksport All Stars game on Friday, isn't it? Yeah, boy. Are, are you doing that? I'm to playing. Get yourself in the shop window. I'm central midfield. Central midfield with Darren Ambrose. Shot window for Saudi for Rory Jennings. Do you think? I would go. You would. <laughs> I would. Take the money. I would go. And anybody <laughs> sneering at it, anybody being judgmental, I would not care. I would be gone. <laughs> I just imagine you under Stephen Gerrard next season. I'd try really hard. Up the I'd Saudi work league. so hard. I'd you be were... so up for it. I would be so up for it, um, mate. Dar- me and Darren Ambrose sent central midfield. I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, I mean. I'm, I'm sure Darren is as well, mate. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, this is, is yeah. this is his dream. <laughs> <laughs> Always Carrying wanted me. To play with Rory He's not going to know what. Yeah, I tell you what. If he can, if he can get through that, he can get through anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, right. Next over reaction. Uh, Mikhailo Mudrik will establish himself as a key player for Chelsea this season. Overreaction or not? Mm. Ooh, I don't know. Mm. It doesn't sound like an overreaction because it should be happening. That is what should happen. Yeah. So no, it's not. It's not a huge overreaction. The the problem is, everything that we've seen him do in the Premier League is so bad, it's so <laughs> underwhelming. He was he was abysmal. He was mm. like totally abysmal. But his pre season quite though? good. New manager? new manager, new season, a bit of a fresh yeah. start, clean slate. And look, there is a, apparently a player there. You know, yeah. the reason that Arsenal was sniffing around him was because they believed there was a player there. The reason that De Zerbi said he's going to win a Ballon d'Or is because they believe there's a player there. Yeah. I haven't seen that player. But he did score a wonderful goal against um, against Brighton in pre-season <laughs> in New York. Mm. And what did we say earlier? Well, this is the then. time where I can dream, right? <laughs> yeah. Mikhailo Mudrik, golden boot, incoming. Yeah, I, I think he'll kick on. I do think he'll kick on, uh, especially with... I mean, the, he has to, doesn't he? Yeah. He has to. He or, either performs, or that is a complete flop. Well, he either performs this season or he leaves. Yeah. Like, there, there is no waiting anymore. Yeah, to Saudi, probably. <laughs> um, uh, next one, Manchester City will struggle to retain the Premier League this season. No major transfers have happened yet. Gundogan's gone and Mares has likely gone too uh, and that means that they, they will struggle to retain the Premier League next season. Overreaction think, or not? No, I don't think it's an overreaction. I think I think that there is something... If You know, if it was anyone other than Guardiola and City, I would be genuinely worried. Mm. Like, and because When I say worried, I mean worried because I want them to win the league. Like obviously, I want what, Chelsea just to stop Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Man- Manchester City are, are, are a team that I always want to succeed because they they preserve me and and uh, create a shield over the 
the worst possible situation in football, which is Tottenham or Arsenal winning the league. So they protect me from that. They insulate me from the nightmare. So I need them to win the league because Chelsea aren't going to. If it were anyone else, I would say that they're in trouble. Letting all of these players go, the recruitment's not quite right. But, yeah. but they're just but a winning City. machine, aren't it's they? City and it's Guardiola. They're, they're just going to kick on. I, I do think Arsenal have done good business, though. So for, with Rice... Arsenal oh, have done very good business. But, uh, did his habits very good? Arsenal have done very good well. business. I'm impressed with what they've done. They've got an awful lot right. There's no two ways about it. But let's just be... It, it's Manchester City and it's Guardiola going for a record fourth title in a row. Like yeah. that, that just doesn't happen. So I think they'll be incredibly inspired. All it takes is Guardiola to come in. Yeah, and stop up Mbappe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs>